How's it going all? I'm here just covering up these three codes. So you got the 29DC, which is the main code we were getting, a 2FCA, which was a shadow code for the high pressure fuel pump, and the 2FDA. We also had, in a few instances, like a random misfire, like let's say cylinder two, and let's say cylinder four, and cylinder five. It was always just throwing a few random cylinder misfires, okay? We thought it was injectors at first. We started swapping injectors multiple times. We still had the same problem. So we started diagnosing. If you had that 29DC code when you floor your car and just goes in the cylinder injection cutout, you most likely have a bad fuel uh, high pressure, HPFP, uh, high pressure fuel pump, all right? Here's how to diagnose it by, by a day of logging. Right now at idle, our fuel low pressure should be between 70 and 80-ish, and this should stay around 600. When you're at full throttle, this should go up between 2,000 and 3,000 uh, PSI, all right? I'm gonna show you our two logs and how I diagnosed this to be bad. On our bad log, you'll see I'll go right over here, rail pressure and RPM. We would go up and at, at max, we would see 1600 on a good pull, all right? I think on a few of these pulls, we had no misfire, but we had uh, sometimes time was being pulled, but we never saw past 1600 PSI. Most of the time it was flowing around 700, 800 PSI, which is pretty much idle PSI, all right? And right away, it would just cut off all injectors so we don't run lean and blow up our engine, okay? How it should look, that we just put a used high pressure fuel pump in. And by the way, if you want a video on that, uh, I'll link it to my this video as well. If you wanna know how to change that out. This is after we put the new one on. This is a cylinder three pull. And you can see right away, right? At 1700 RPM, we're already at 2000 PSI. Much better. As the RPMs are going up, you see it climb 2700, 2800, 2900 right almost 3000 there you go hit 3000 a little bit but you want to be there high twos low threes okay especially when flooring the car all right our lambda is looking good now our timing is no longer pulling any timing before it was pulling timing just at random cylinders etc so it took us a few days to diagnose it we were really set on thinking it was the injectors that are bad but after reading the logs we found out it was a high pressure fuel pump so again if you have those codes they're 29 DC and we had shadow codes for uh, like a random crankshaft sensor signal shadow code and a shadow code for the fuel high pressure pump. It most likely is your fuel pump. Okay, so read your logs and hope this helps you because we wish we had this video. So we saved a lot of time before. Have any questions, comments, concerns, post them below. Look at my videos if you wanna learn how to change out your high pressure fuel pump or put a helix in and I got a whole bunch of other videos. So that's all I got. Peace.